Hello everyone, it's your favorite Central Check Jedi, Lisa here, back with another video in this remote support and networking playlist. In this one, we're going to talk about Event Viewer. I have to agree with my counterpart in the UK. Uh, if you have watched any of our live streams, you know his name is Owen. Both of him and I agree that Event Viewer is a very underutilized part of any sort of tech director, networking pers persons, like tool bag of things to kind of suss out what's going on. I mean, it's it shows you exactly what has happened with the Windows error log events. So one of the great things about Senso is that you can utilize this tool to pull Pull information off a device without having to interrupt the service, meaning that the user can continue using the device and you can pull information off of it to see what's going wrong if they have submitted a ticket or you've got an alert somewhere and you're trying to figure whatever is going on with those devices. This one is a Windows specific tool again, so this is something that is uh, uh, we're only going to showcase on Windows devices today. I could go into thumbnail view if you watched the previous video for this uh, where I talked about command. I didn't show the thumbnail view because there's really nothing going to happen because again we're showing this information that we're pulling from behind the scenes um, we're not actually you know interrupting service on that so I've opened up event viewer there it is event view and now I'm gonna I, I'm gonna select one of these just so you can see the information again you can select multiple devices if you're pulling a lot of information back in off of these and let's look at log type which is the application there you go. These are all error events that are based off of application. And the great thing about it, guess what? Boom, you click the plus sign, you get the event ID so that you can go ahead and research that and see um, what's going on with uh, whatever error event has happened for application. Let's do security. You Again, I'm just changing the log type right up here in the pull down list. I get all the log types. I can click that button. And again, I'm going to get the event ID. Let's do setup. Same thing, click run. I have no setup errors, huzzah. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything going on there. And then system, oops, I click close instead of run. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open it back up, click system. Go ahead and click run. Again, showing you how easy it is to use this tool. Click any of the plus signs and I'm gonna get that event information right there in this uh, module window. If I need to go to the next or the last, you see I have some entries in there. That's how you utilize that tool. All right guys, thank you for joining me on this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.